Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Italy, nil, Argentina, three, in La Finalissima 2022. Argentina, make Italy pay. Italy can't score goals. Same story as the last six months. Argentina, I wouldn't say are completely dominant, but they are the better team, and they won as deserved as the game was running. But Italy, not completely great. Flat, flat, like an old Coca-Cola. But goals scored as follows. In the 28th minute, Messi crosses the ball into the box to Lautaro Martinez. Martinez taps it into the goal center of the box. Taps it in past the hand of Donnarumma to make it 1-0 Argentina. Then in the 45th plus one minute ball played over the top. Ball gets to Di Maria. He chips Donnarumma. To make it 2-0. That's the way we go into half. 2-0. Then in the 90 plus 4th minute. Paolo Dybala picks up the ball. Rounds a defender. Takes a banger of a shot past Donnarumma. To make it 3-0. By the way. Logan's boy. Paolo Dybala. He's still not going to the Galaxy. I will eat my hat if that happens. But Paolo Dybala comes on. Scores. Then leaves. 3-0 for Argentina. That's the way it would end. Three great goals. They were beautiful goals, I have to say. Full-time stats, seven shots to 17. Three shots on goal to nine. 44% possession to 56% possession. 432 passes to 549. 88% pass accuracy to 88% pass accuracy. 13 fouls to 16. Three offside to zero, three yellow cards to one, zero red cards to zero, and three corners to four. Italy were flat. Argentina were the better team, but only for the reasons of Argentina made Italy pay. Argentina made Italy pay for their defensive mistakes. Italy were not the team to look better. Argentina looked better. Messi's player of the match, really? Not Martinez? <sighs> nah, I don't think so. But I'll get into my man of the match later on. No. No. Assist, but did he score a goal? One assist, one goal, I think that would do it. But whatever. But for me, Italy was just flat. They had some bright spots. Raspadori, wonderful. Raspadori was wonderful. I thought he was great when he was on. Raspadori looked really good. There's something good for the future if they don't waste him. But knowing Italy, the way they've been building players, he probably will get wasted, let's be honest. But the way he played, Raspadori. In the stead of Lorenzo Insigne, who pulled a Toronto special before the match, had muscle tightness, in training and missed the game. He pulled a Toronto special. But Raspadori played well in Insigne instead. Doesn't look pretty good when you realize the fact that could have been his last chance to still push on and be part of the Azzurri for Insigne. But he still has this window. But I don't know if he plays the Nations League games, depending on how bad his injury is and slash, you know. If they want him to play, it's not like Raspadori embarrassed himself. I don't think he did. I thought he played well. Chiellini looked okay for me. Bonucci, Jesus, almost an own goal, my own. Luckily, Donnarumma saved that, and Donnarumma made some big saves. But Italy just could not score a goal, one, to save their life, let alone three. And there you go. Italy could not score goals to save their life. The team really was non-existent, the football that was played. For me, Argentina made Italy pay for their mistakes defensively. And that's why Argentina ran out 3-0 winners. They played well. 
they did play well. They were the better team, but Italy, if they could score, it would have been a lot closer. They couldn't even window dress because, again, like the last six months, Italy just can't score goals. If they don't have Chiesa, they can't score goals. And that's exactly why they got semi-embarrassed in this game. Mancini, but then again, they lost to North Macedonia. Argentina are a favorite to win the World Cup. In the end, you would expect, in the end, you would expect Argentina to have the better chance in this game. I don't care if Italy are the Euro champions. They embarrass themselves by being eliminated by North Macedonia. That's exactly what it looks like. Don't tell me it doesn't. Don't tell me it doesn't is what I'm saying. Argentina were the better team. They had the better chance. If you looked at the odds, they probably did as well. I didn't see the odds, but I'm sure they had the better money line. And Argentina were the better team. They played better. They had better scoring. They were better situationally. Italy couldn't find it. I'm disappointed, but I kind of saw it coming, frankly. Now, but Argentina played well. Di Maria played well. Martinez Wow, what a player Lot Lautaro Martinez is. He's, he's a great player. An Italian Serie A legend, or a legend in the Italian Serie A, then goes on to beat the country he lives in most of the time. Most of the year. I bet that felt good for him. And then Dybala, again, also as well in that situation. Messi goes into the World Cup with another international trophy. Scaloni, doing well as a manager. Can't hate on it. Italy fans, I am you, but... <sighs> Maron. Just, just horrible. Just, just a trash performance. This team is making themselves look horrible. Just more and more horrible more and more trash by the moment. I'm not saying they need a giant rebuild, but they need to be more cognizant of this situation. They need to they need to plan, they need to do better. They need to get things in more order. Order. Yeah, you won the Euros. There was paper over the cracks thanks to Chiesa, but when he's hurt, you're a one-dimensional team. And they honestly deserve to lose to Argentina. So, is it a reality check? Maybe. Is it a bad reality check? No, I think they needed it. But I'd rather have the reality check than now than get embarrassed in a World Cup. They still got work to do. That is what it is. Argentina fans, if I were you, Argentina... You are a true favorite for the World Cup. This is what was the test. This was the test. You can't beat Italy, a team who didn't make it because they lost to North Macedonia because they can't score goals. You are not a real, you are not a real favorite like people think you are. But they, I wouldn't say dominated. I would say we're the better team and got the job done which shows teams should be afraid of Argentina come November, December in Qatar, which shows what you should expect out of them. Argentina are a damn good team. They're the best in Conmebol. They're the best in South America, probably the best in the Western Hemisphere. Yes, better than Canada. I know. I know you're shocked, but it's probably true. Argentina is a damn good team. And they're in good position. They're in very good position. They're a true favorite. And they're a good football club or a good football side. I can't wait to see the way they play in Qatar. Maybe Messi finally gets his biggest, his white whale, I should say. I should say. But we'll see. Well, that being said, man of the match for me, Lautaro Martinez, because an assault, uh, uh, assist. I put goal and assist together. He did. Oh, he did assault the uh, Italian back line. Oh, he sure did. A goal and assist for 
a goal and assist for Lautaro Martinez. That's man of the match worthy for me. It's not messy. It's not messy. He's not the man of the match. I don't know what the hell they're on. It's probably because it's Lionel Messi. But no, for me, it's Lautaro Martinez. A goal and assist. Good football. Man of the match for me. So if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Send super chats on the live streams. Hit that bell notification. Once you subscribe, can comment on this video. Put this in play. Share it with friends and family. All that great stuff. Tomorrow I will be live 